Welcome back to another episode of Can I Animate? The show where you suggest random objects and I attempt to bring them to life through animation. Today's challenge is can I animate a sock? Let's find out. What can we do with a sock? Turns out not that much. <laughs> it can't hold itself up. It has no structure. Uh, it's really just a piece of fabric. So I'm gonna use a bit of my uh, stop motion know-how to <laughs> Give it, a, give it a little bit of help. So I've put a loop of armature wire inside the sock, and that's just outlining uh, the whole sock so I can bend it and uh, pose it. And this is gonna allow me to animate the shapes of the sock much better. What do we wanna do with the performance or the animation of this sock? Um, you know, so what do we think about when we look at a sock? This makes me think about kind of like a worm or a snake. Um, it's got that kind of serpentine <laughs> uh, shape to it. Um, so yeah, let's do that. Let's have it creep along like an inchworm. Um, but let's make it a little more exciting. I don't want it to just do up and down. Let's do, you know, it creeps up and then shoots itself out and kind of crocodiles along like it's floating on water. And then I've also prepared, um, as it moves, I'm going to move this yellow piece of paper along to kind of create the illusion that there's a camera moving with the sock as it walks along. So that's the plan for the animation. Let's pose up for the first frame and get animating. This is looking pretty good. And you might be wondering why I'm not starting flat and then animating into the anticipation and then the shoot. And that's because I want this to loop. So I need to loop it at the most aggressive frame. Um, if I start flat, I need to end up flat and loop back, and that's gonna be a very tough position to match up. So I'm going to start here and then do the shoot, and then I'll probably loop back around and reanimate the first handful of frames back into that aggressive frame. Uh, so we have a seamless loop. When this posed up, we can start animating. So let's capture our first frame. I'm going to do maybe one or two frames of an ease in into this <laughs> inchworm shoot forward. And I'm starting to move this yellow piece back just a little bit. Getting a bit more aggressive on this frame going into the, the flat part. So I've flattened out and I'm really just focusing on leading the motion with this, the tip of the sock. So it's kind of like a snake's head uh, leading that, you know, serpentine motion. And really getting some motion on this yellow piece going backward. And this yellow part, I'm just kind of guessing. Um, I'm just going aggressive with it. <laughs> moving it back, because it has to loop around at some point, but I don't quite know where yet. Um, so just being aggressive with this yellow piece so we can kind of correct it on the way. This frame, I'm really starting to think of the, uh, the shape change on the sock. So the tip is starting to redirect this way. So that kind of, you know, curving back while, you know, the heel is really starting to go the opposite way. So changing that shape. And an animation shape change like that is always, it's those are the frames that give your animation life and kind of that organic quality. Very subtly starting to redirect the tip this way while getting more aggressive in the, the middle and the back. So the tip's gonna go this way and the back is gonna swing around that way. Just like a snake. So not only do I have to think about, you know, the motion, but also the rhythm. So this frame I'm thinking, you know, the, the tip just went so it's kind of like a slow, and then now we're going into a fast. So we're trying to alternate speed, so it's not just this even motion like this. We gotta do slow bits and fast bits. <laughs> yeah, 
yeah, there's just something with this frame that really captures that uh, fish <laughs> kind of movement. So I've kind of transitioned from a snake to a fish. Um, but yeah, these are the frames where you just have to dig, move things around and feel it out until, um, you know, your instinct just tells you when it's right. So here really slowing this uh, tip down to get back to center and getting a little exciting with the tail here, kind of one final whip. <laughs> yeah, this frame's feeling good. Um, redirecting that tip back, kind of just thinking about settling now. And when you play this back, if you think, you know, that sock feels alive, it feels like a fish, <laughs> but I don't know why. It's because that shape change. So, you know, that those curves redirecting around, that's that organic quality that makes it feel alive. The so shape change is key. So getting this, the middle of the sock up, we're gonna kind of just ease into that anticipation. getting into that anticipation pose and I'm just referencing the start of the shot because I need to loop back around. I'm trying to match that as closely as possible. Okay, we've looped back around. I'm at the same pose as my original first frame, but things are a little bit different. It's always really tough to get things exactly how they were. Uh, so I'm gonna capture this and I'm gonna animate a few frames back over my first frames, just so things loop on that more extreme uh, shoot action. So I'll do that and then we'll check in on the final animation. Okay, I've animated a few more frames to get this to properly loop back around to the start. Um, yeah, so it's done. Let's take a look at the final animation. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Um, it's a good combination of an inchworm mixed with some kind of snake slash fish. <laughs> um, yeah, I'd say I've brought this sock to life uh, and it's moving along. And I've never done, you know, this kind of fake camera move uh, illusion with a piece of paper before. So that was really fun to experiment with. And with that, we've brought a sock to life. Um, I hope you enjoyed this animation. As always, I've had a lot of fun animating. Um, please suggest the next object I should animate in the comments. I'll take a look and decide what I should animate next. Thanks for watching. Uh, please subscribe if you haven't, and I'll see you in the next video.